Three, two, one. Over the past year, I have talked pretty frequently about a review I was writing of John Green's novelization of his hit podcast, The Anthropocene Reviewed. Initially intended as a fun little thing posted the week after release, my desire to mimic its structure and use that as a way to talk about the philosophy of this channel and the events that led to its creation resulted in a rapid spiral that even excising my sub-review of a $500 St. Laurent t-shirt and releasing it standalone couldn't stop the final script from breaking 20,000 words. I had planned out how each section would be staged. I even shot that dope intro on the edge of a cliff, which was to end with a series of trigger warnings to get people in the mood. But as I discussed in my review of Turning 30, a series of creative setups wasn't enough. The disappointment that I felt in myself when I read through that first draft was enormous, and the many dozens of hours I'd spent working on it felt like they'd been wasted. But the sunk cost fallacy has its claws in me real deep. My first piece of performance art came because I refused to let something I'd made languish, and so too with this. In December, I had a plan to rework it for the anniversary of the book's release in mid-May. Seemed realistic at the time. I mean, it was more than six months away. How could I not get my shit together by then? Well, then I decided to make 30 videos in a month and a plan for the future that didn't really include that video. Now we're less than two months from the anniversary, and I've done nothing. But it's not as dire as it sounds. As those who are fully plugged into the week I review cinematic universe know, the plan changed. The review of The Anthropocene Reviewed is no longer a video at all, but a live reading. And it is being performed exactly once in London, England, on June 11th. Well, I hadn't said the date before, but, but I did just now. And I imagine you're thinking... Wait, Alec, you're going to fly across the Atlantic Ocean, killing countless polar bears in the process, to go to a city you've never been to just so you can read your silly little script to a bunch of people you've never met? Yeah, kinda. I mean, I'm going to do some sightseeing or whatever while I'm there, but the reason I'm going to London specifically is to do this. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> you see, if I do it in New York, it's lazy. But if I travel, no one can deny my commitment to the bit, and bits are the only things I like committing to. Why London specifically? Well, a weirdly large contingent of the Week Air Review's core fan base is in the UK, so of the places I could go that isn't here, London is probably my best bet if I want people to actually come. Also, number one super fan Willow has been maybe jokingly berating me to go on tour for years at this point, and this is me calling her bluff because I am serious. The Anthropocene Reviewed Reviewed Live in London will take place at 14 o'clock weirdo time and run somewhere between two and three hours with an intermission. The venue is TBD, but we're figuring it out. Also, entry will be free. Really. It's not going to be some high-class production. There won't be costumes or fancy effects. Maybe the spot will allow me to have a handful of projections, but you shouldn't expect anything more than me standing and reading about myself for several hours. It doesn't sound worth money to me, so I'm not going to ask you to give me any to attend. But if it sounds interesting to you, you can get tickets at the Eventbrite link in the description. They are quite limited, of course, but I don't actually think that many people are going to want to come, so I'm not really worried about it. That said, please don't sign up if you do not fully intend to be there. And to make something super clear. This will only happen once. I understand that most people who watch my videos couldn't make this trip if they wanted to, but the more seriously I take it, the funnier it is. Depending on how I'm feeling on the day, I might record at least parts of it and then do a single stream of a cut-down version sometime later, but also maybe not. In any case, no one who isn't in that room will see the piece in its entirety, which means that I can talk about some things I would have never put in the video. So that's fun. But to that end, I need to start the rewrite, which will obviously get in the way of that schedule I'd hoped to stick to. 
I do have some specific things I want to talk about, and I'm sure more will pop up over the next couple months, but this script will become my priority because I don't want to get on a plane just to make a fool of myself. I know I've got some things that I've promised various people, and I will make good on all of them. It'll just take a bit longer than I'd hoped. Sorry. It'll be worth it, though. At least for the people I see in London. Ugh. <laughs> uh.